Hi, everybody! Now, I know what you're gonna say. What is this, Fishing Planet again? Well, yes, it is Fishing Planet. What can I say? I'm hooked on this game, so to speak. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that was, uh, that was pretty bad. Um, since last time we played, we've made a little bit of progress. We're at level 8. I've upgraded my rod. This is the, I think it's the value cast, five foot rod, five, five foot three inch rod, or five and a half, whatever. Uh, we also have the, what is this, the Felix 500. This is a bait casting reel. Um, we upgraded our line to some braided line. I was actually using the point oh oh seven mono, that's uh, three pound mono but it was breaking like every two seconds so I just had to switch it. Uh, we've upgraded some of our spoons. These are level seven half ounce spoons that I've found to be really good. We have some jigs. A lot of spoons actually. I can... Uh, I wonder if I get... Oh! I can actually get... because for right now I'm not taking my bait set up so I can actually free up some space to put some more stuff in if I wanted to. Of course I, I really don't have much more. Um, in our other slot we have our, our other rod. This is the value spin I believe, the first spinning rod that you can get. And this is the uh, mini spin 1200 is what it is, that's what it is. And then we have a bass jig on there and the three pound mono and uh, I figured this could be my bass rig this is gonna be a, a piking sort of rig or a trophy chain pickerel setup so and actually I've played this a little bit and I caught in Mudwater River the starting place I caught a four pound chain pick trophy chain pickerel that was Pretty awesome. Also caught a 2.122 largemouth bass, which was nice. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a few more lures just to... Oh, we got some new stuff. What's this? The watermelon seed. It's a, it's a silicone like rubber bait. Great choice for bass, panfish, and crappie. Hmm. Worm. That's pretty nice. These are level 8 items here that I haven't actually looked at. A 2 inch shad. Might be kind of cool. Actually, do we have. I think we have heavier jig heads, maybe? Um, yeah, I guess this is a 1 6 ounce jig head with a larger hook on it. Got some longer spoons. These are quarter ounce spoons, but they have a larger profile, so they'll catch larger fish, possibly. Oh, there's some different sized bass jigs. Eighth ounce. What do I have right now for a bass jig? What weight? It's a one quarter number one. And I think those are one eight. Yeah. Um, these are one eighth, one sixth. One quarter, that's a mini bass jig. Oh, and these are full-size bass jigs. I see. Well, I think one-eighth bass jig. Number one hook. Oh, we do have some heavier jig heads, but they're, you use real money for them. I don't want to use up my real money. I mean, this money was gifted to me anyways for uh, getting achievements. You get some money for that. It's a one six. What is this black and blue? I wonder what that color is good for. Probably sunny days. Guessing. So. You know, I'm really not sure. The white, I imagine, would be good for a cloudy day. Watermelon for sunny maybe oh I didn't want to do that uh, this is all stuff I can't buy well let's try 
this. And then we will try this and this. We'll just we'll, we'll try a bunch of different things. So okay, they all went in to our tackle box nicely. So 8th ounce regular bass jig. We have mini bass jig. We'll try a bunch of different things. I think in in, in this episode we're going to go for a trophy chain pickerel. I think that's going to be our goal for this one. And then maybe in the next one we'll go for some trophy bass. I actually unlocked a new area, Rocky Lake. It's a trout. Uh, trout, crappie, panfish. We're going to go for Mud Water River. This is actually a good place to accumulate money and experience because it only takes $25 to get there. You can see that New York Emerald Lake where we were before is $250, $240 to get to Rocky Lake, Colorado. So that's something that you really save up for and then you go there and catch some uh, trout. You go some trout fishing over at Colorado or pike fishing up in New York. I would really like to catch some some larger pike up there. That'd be cool. But I'm going to wait until I get a bunch of money saved up. Like, see, right now my, my money's pretty low. I actually made the mistake of letting go fish that I shouldn't have. The regulation said that you must keep the fish, but I was letting them go. And I actually got fined $100 for that. So let's keep that in mind. We're going to go to Pike Challenge. Get some trophy chain pickerel. There we go. All right, so it's cloudy right now. I'm gonna try the half ounce casting spoon in gold. And actually, you know what? Um, now that I think of it, we're actually gonna we're gonna advance the day. I forgot about that. Um, because if you look right here, anywhere from 10 a.m. on is actually really good fishing. So. I'm going to advance time about we'll go six hours for now. We'll try the golden spoon. I was I was using the silver spoon. That's actually what I caught that four pound chain pickerel on, but it was overcast, which was weird because usually the gold is better for overcast days, not silver. But I was still I was catching a ton of really good chain pickerel on that. I think we actually, oh, I think we actually had a bite there, but oh, okay, I got snagged, I guess. Okay, now I've been trying to keep the lure halfway in the water column or just under the surface. That seems to be working out well. Let's reel her back in here. Cast right. Alongside these reeds seems to be a really good plan. It's been working for me anyhow. So here we go. Oh, I see something. Oh, you see I struck too early. Tried to set the hook too early. I actually saw, you can see sometimes a wake going towards the lure, which is pretty cool because that's that actually happens in real life. If you have your lure close to the surface, there'll be a wake from the fish depending on how big it is. I can't believe I got a little excited with that one. Tried to set the hook early, so. I've actually found that with the larger oh there we go with the larger fish it's become more subtle whenever they bite this feels pretty big now I want to keep the tension on the rod but not too much I want to keep it I don't want it to bottom out or the fish will get away yeah it's just a just a regular chain pickerel so Again. Oh, there we go. 
Ugh. Are you kidding me? Thought for sure. Oh, there we go. There. This one feels big. He's actually uh, activating the clicker. Actually, I want to bring my drag to half. Even though I'm using braid, it could break on me. I haven't had the braid line break yet. But this this feels heavier. Might be a trophy one. But I don't want to reel in too fast or the tension will be too high and he'll get off. Or it'll break the line. And I just want to keep tension on there just enough to keep him in. Try and keep him away from shore too so he doesn't snag on anything. They will come in eventually. I really wish you could pan your head separately so that you could still do this but then look at it. There we go! That's actually bigger than the one that we got before. 4.156 trophy pickerel. Yes, I'll keep it. I actually also upgraded my stringer because the net, I'll show you after we're done, but the net it wouldn't allow me to to keep a pickerel that was that heavy. So I'm gonna actually close the chat right now. The pickerels I was getting were too heavy for it. I think it had like a three pound, two and a half pound limit or something like that. The stringer I have right now can I think go up to seven pounds, which is more than enough. Here we go, there's something taking that. Oh. Waited too long. I found that the game doesn't give me those little hints anymore, like for the more advanced fish, like the larger fish. It won't give me a hint like my strike is timed out or something, which is kind of cool. Because you should really know by now when, when the fish are taking the lure. And when you should strike. There we go. There's something on there. Oh, see, I waited too long. Waited too long. Sometimes it's really subtle, too. It's really subtle. That was actually a really lucky chain pickerel right off the bat half ounce spoon seems to be the way to go. Now I've also used the yellow the yellow, the quarter ounce that's the yellow with red diamonds on it. I've caught trophies on that but you end up catching a lot of normal pickerel before you get to the trophy ones. This is... Oh! What the heck? Could have sworn that was going to be a take. There we go. This is a smaller one. The clicker is not going. Yeah, it's coming in way too easy. There we go. Still, better than nothing. Uh, with the stringer, you actually, whenever you keep the fish, you kill them, so you can't release them later. So I'm, I'm just keeping the trophies for the most part right now. I uh, just want to go right past that weed bed. Oh, there's a weight going for it. You see that? See that? There we go. Got one on. That uh, seems like a small one, maybe. It's jumping a whole lot, though. I really like the water effects. Yeah, it's small. Let him go. Another one, I think. Well, maybe not. Oh, look 
looked like something was taking that, but I guess not. Having a lot of missed strikes here. I just want to get it up at the top and then let it sink just a bit. Hmm. This bait caster, it has a really... it doesn't hold as much line as the spinning reel. But I haven't upgraded my spinning rod and reel yet, so this line on the other rod and reel could actually break, so I haven't really been using the braid on that because I don't want to break the reel and have to buy a new one. There. Oh. Dang it. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. Oh, there we go. Seems small. Yeah, just a regular one. Chain pickerels don't go for as much as the regular largemouth bass. So if you want to make money, largemouth bass is the way to go because you can catch them pretty easily in the other area of this region and they go for a bit more money. But the. Oh, come on. Not sure that was a take. Yeah. There's definitely something taking that, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bite this time. I think they sometimes they just sort of mess around with it. Get. I'd like to at least get one. There we go. Let's see what it does. Ah, come on. Seemed like it took it twice that time, but then couldn't set the hook on it. Oh, see, there's something again. Oh. See, it was bending the rod down, but it. Definitely something on that, but keep trying to set the hook and it doesn't do anything. Lower and then we'll switch. There 
There we go. Got something on there this time. I think what you gotta do is right mouse button to set the hook and then pull back. And then that will do it. Fortunately, not very big. Let's try a different lure here. Mm. Try the yellow with the diamonds. There we go. Now, got something big on there. It's fighting us quite a bit. There we go. There's another trophy. Not as big as the other one, but still. Yes, I want to keep that. You actually get a lot of XP for these, too. Which is nice. Does tend to fill up the stringer pretty quickly. Oh! There's another one. It seems smaller. It's coming in a little too fast. It's kind of the problem with the quarter ounce. It you get a lot of little ones. Yeah, there we go. We'll let them go. Cast out again. There we go. Oh, we got something on there. Another small one, I think. Yeah, it's coming in quick. There we go. Release him. Another long cast. Right past the weeds. I haven't really tried any other spot. Actually, after this retrieve we'll we'll try a different spot just for the heck of it there we go yeah the trick is definitely to uh, strike or uh, set the hook with the right mouse button and then pull back there we go all right let's try let's try the opposite direction this is actually a pretty long bank here so Let's try this way. Cross these rocks and see what happens. See what we get. I want to put my drag on half because I don't want to bust my rod or anything. Pretty shallow right here. Nope, nothing there. Try right across. Hopefully that wasn't too far. Nope. It wasn't. I've been doing a straight and slow retrieve on with this spoon, so it's actually not. It's been working out pretty good. I haven't really been doing anything tricky like twitching it or anything like that like I was doing before. I've tried the the jigs and the shads, but they don't seem to really get the results that I want, so try straight across.
Definitely seems for Pickerel that left side is the best so far. Oh, snagged on something. Oh, did that, s is that snagging on something? There we go. It's one thing about the braid too, you can get yourself unsnagged pretty easily without having to break your line. You can really get out of weeds that way. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely seems like this direction over here is best place for the pickerel. Try one more cast. Oh, there we go. Something small is coming in too easily. Yeah. yeah, it's just a small one. Oh well. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go try some bass fishing right now over at Last Songs of Summer. Try some of our new bass jigs. I wanna wanna try those out. And I've actually used the gold spoons and the yellow spoons for bass too. So let's try the white. Let's see what that does. It's the white bass jig. So again, I'm just gonna cast right past the weeds. Bring my drag to half. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was quick. First cast. Seems reasonably large. It's fighting us a little bit. Yeah, it's a regular large mouse, so we'll keep it. Wonder what our stringer's at right now. Forgot to check. Yeah, nine point eight pounds out of seventeen point six, so with it's got quite a bit more capacity than our other one. So the white seems to work good on overcast. I'm guessing the watermelon one is um, for the, the brownish ones for sunny days. I'm kind of retrieving a little bit too fast. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty small, I think. Yeah. Young largemouth will let him go. There we go. Got something. Oh, uh oh. There we go. Almost lost it. Keeps on. Every time they jump, you lose slack, so, or you get slack. So, let him go. Ne on the next cast, I'm going to try the blue and, I think it's blue and black, something like that. The white definitely seems to get them.
try the black and blue since this was a slightly more expensive one. Might be the blue is good for sunny. Maybe. Sure, it's gonna happen though. Oh. No. Okay, I'm gonna try the gold half ounce spoon. Let's see what that does. Since it's bigger, it might catch bigger fish. Second chance. Seems pretty small though. I don't know, it's it's good enough to be a keeper. So the gold spoon works pretty good. Too bad. Try a few more. You have to reset your drag after each lure change, so keep that in mind. This is going to be the last cast. So we'll see what we got. 
Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, man. That would have been a big one, too. Oh. What? I just catapulted that one through the air. <laughs> oh, God. Just yanked that one right out. Alright. I know I said that was the last cast, but I feel like we can get that big one. We can do it. feels pretty small. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. It's a little bit smaller than what we have been getting, but... <sighs> Once I start bass fishing, can't stop. about it. There's some... Oh, no. Strike timed out. There we go. No. Uh, got off. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. We won't be getting our trophy bass today. <sighs> we did get some trophy pickerel, though, so... That's actually the largest one I've gotten so far. Where are you? Yeah, 4.15 pounds. $28. That's not bad. Not bad 